Good afternoon. My name is Kelly Lamb. I'm the Vice President of Marketing at Mila. Welcome, bienvenue, and willkommen. We understand many of you are at home, safe with your families, in these very unique times that we're all facing. We encourage you to stay home. Nonetheless, you, our customers, have actually reached out to us, asking for more information, whether it's about products you own, the services that we're offering right now, or many of you are actually interested in buying some of our products and have questions before you buy. So we're really excited to be here with you, to share with you through this new service that we're offering, Mila Live. These sessions will be happening multiple times per week with different sessions per day. And we're gonna cover off various topics from dishwashers to cooking to laundry, hoping to answer every question that you have. For those of you who have demanded for des sessions in French, on travail actuellement pour avoir des sessions pour les journées qui viennent. These sessions are live and interactive, so be sure to send in your questions. Many of you have actually already sent in your questions to us, and we'll try to answer them as best we can while we're actually here in front of the products. There may be some detailed questions that we won't be able to get to, but we'll be sure to answer those by sending you an email directly or actually providing the answers through the comment section. So what a great way to start off today. We're actually live from our Meal Experience Center here in Toronto. Uh, we, I have our product expert, Dean, here uh, for our coffee machines. And what a great way to start off a, a beautiful day, actually, uh, talking about coffee. So Dean, welcome. Thanks very much, Kelly. So I'm going to have you uh, start off with an exciting topic today of coffee. Absolutely. Well, I'm happy to be here uh, to talk about our coffee machines and our coffee beans. Uh, thank you, everyone, for joining us online today. Um, you know, this is going to be a, hopefully a really interesting, informative session for you about a topic that we all love, coffee. Um, especially at a time like this, when many of us are practicing social distancing and, and spending a lot of time in our homes, and have perhaps the opportunity to spend a bit more quality time uh, with members of our immediate family in our home, I think it's a perfect time to explore all of the benefits and, and amazing uh, qualities that come from uh, our Mila coffee machines. So in today's session, I'm going to walk through our lineup of countertop coffee machines. So all of the machines that we're going to be discussing today uh, can be plugged into a standard 120 uh, volt power uh, electrical outlet uh, in your kitchen. So um, they're you know, very easy to hook up and, and very easy to use. Uh, all you really require is just a little bit of counter space. So to start off, I'm going to start uh, at our opening uh, model, and I will work our way up, and I'll explain some of the amazing features you get as you move from model to model. So our opening price uh, model here, this is the CM5300, and this uh, model is a model that uh, you're going to be able to make all of your favorite coffee drinks at home, whether it be a cup of coffee, an espresso, a cappuccino, uh, cafe macchiato, you're going to be able to make it with this machine. And there's some uh, really great features about this. You know, but I think if I just take a step back for a second and just talk about the quality, as with all Mila products, a lot of quality and thought has gone into our machines. These are German engineered machines. They're all manufactured in Switzerland. And they're all designed and rigorously tested to last the equivalent of 20 years of use in your home. So. This is really an investment in your uh, enjoyment of coffee within, in your home. And uh, it's going to last you for many years. And what we're most proud of is how it will help you make the absolute perfect coffee in your home. So a little bit more about this machine and, and what really makes it special. So with the CM5300, uh, this machine, it has here a water tank on the side. This has uh, capacity for 1.3 liters of water. That's going to be enough capacity in order to produce up to eight uh, servings of coffee beverages. Also on the side here, this is where you will be able to access the brew unit. So I'm just gonna take this out just to show everyone what it looks like. So it's very easy to come out. Uh, this is something that you're able to easily just wash, uh, rinse uh, under your uh, kitchen sink. So very easy to access. Up on the top here is where you're going to be able to put whole coffee beans. 
So the incredible thing about our machines is that you're going to be able to purchase whole beans and for every single serving, the machine is going to grind those beans perfectly uh, just for your, your serving. So uh, you're going to be uh, able to consume very, very fresh uh, ground coffee every time. Also, if uh, perhaps you have some coffee grounds in your uh, home that's already uh, been grinded, um, what you're able to do is put uh, ground coffee beans into this chute. And so what you would do here is uh, you put one scoop of, uh, of coffee, um, ground coffee into there uh, for each serving. The machine is, uh, is pretty intelligent. It's going to recognize if you do have uh, coffee, uh, ground coffee in the chute, and it's gonna ask you, do you want the beverage prepared from the beans or from the, the ground coffee? So, so that, that's perfect, Dean, because Tony D already had the question. Uh, so Tony D out there, I hope we've answered your question about whether you can use uh, ground coffee instead of the beans. So we definitely have an option for you to use the ground coffee. The only thing to note is it would be on a single use basis for the ground coffee. So every time you would just need to put a scoop of the ground coffee in there. And I know it's perfect for if you're having guests over, you have a couple of people that want decaf or flavored coffee, it gives you that option to, to For sure, it. yeah. And these machines are really designed to be able to really customize all the different parameters of how you, how you prepare the drink to meet your specifications. So just to go over some of those parameters, if I turn the machine on, it's gonna go through a preheating uh, uh, mode here that just takes a couple of moments, so it's already finished preheating. And what you'll find here is that if I press on this menu here and I go down to parameters, first thing that you'll notice, as I was mentioning, you can make many different types of drinks. So uh, specifically, which drinks can our machines make? Well, you can make an espresso, you can make a coffee, a cappuccino, latte macchiato, ristretto, coffee americano, coffee latte, hot milk, and milk froth. So hopefully, uh, with that list, so hopefully I've named off all of your favorite coffee beverages. So if I were to choose one, so let's, uh, let's say I want to make an espresso today. So in here, I'm able to select very specific parameters. So I'm able to determine exactly the, the portion size, so how much volume of espresso I would like. I'm able to choose how much coffee I want the machine to grind uh, for my beverage. I'm able to adjust the temperature. I'm also able to, to decide whether I want the machine to pre-brew uh, or not. And if I do choose for it to pre-brew, um, I can choose whether I want to have a long or a short pre-brew. What the pre-brew will do is the longer it pre-brews, the more intense the flavor profile will be of your coffee beverage. I think that's a great feature to have, especially with different people in the household that want different strengths of coffee, temperature of coffee. Now, Dean, I'm not sure in this specific model, but you know, with a family with the multiple households, mm -hmm. um, do I have to set that every time? So that actually leads uh, really into what we offer in our other lineup. So this is the uh, CM5300. Um, it uh, has a, a regular price um, online of uh, $14.99. And if you were to step up, Kelly, to our CM6150, uh, this model, what's special about this one is you're actually able to set up unique user profiles. You're able to set up up to four profiles in this machine. So that means that if you have four different uh, coffee drinkers in your household, um, each person is gonna be able to have their own specific profile where they have been able to set all those parameters we were just talking about specifically to their preference. And not only are they gonna be able to do it for their preference, they're going to be able to do it under their profile for every type of drink. So they can, under each profile, you can have different parameters for an espresso versus a cappuccino. So a tremendous amount of programming is available in these and at the end of the day, what Mila is doing with the design of these machines is making it very, very convenient. These are super automatic machines. So these are uh, intended to make making the perfect cup of coffee very, very simple and very easy uh, for you at home. Now, Dean, I notice obviously between the CM5 and CM6 model uh, that we're looking at right now, there's a bit of a size difference too between the two. There is, yeah. There's, there's a slight... Um, 
uh, difference, you'll see this one is a little bit more narrow, the 5300. And they do get a, a little bit wider. Now, one of the benefits um, with going with one of the 6150s that we're looking at right here, or our top of the line 6350, which I'll mention a few of the upgrades you get on this model, is that with it being a little bit wider, you're going to get more capacity. So, for example, you'll notice that this um, water container looks bigger. It's actually 500 milliliters bigger, so this is 1.8 milliliters, which just adds some convenience. Um, that way you're not gonna have to refill it quite as often. So uh, moving up to our 6350, uh, CM6350, this model here, uh, the features you're going to get on this model that you don't get on the 6150 is you're gonna notice that there's a hot water spout. So this is going to further expand the different options of uh, beverages you can use this machine for. So now this is gonna be great for hot chocolate, uh, for tea. tea. Um, so really a, a great feature to have that hot water spout. Um, also, uh, what you'll notice is the finishing is uh, more premium. So you've got um, this more finished uh, metal uh, backing, uh, backsplash on it. Um, also, there's LED lighting. So this one's gonna stand out and look a little fancier on the countertop. Um, also, uh, you've got, um, here I'm just gonna show you also, this is where the beans go uh, on this machine. There's a separate uh, shoot for the ground coffee as well here. Right, which we talked about earlier. Now, do you know, I know, I know when I drink my coffee, I like my cup a little bit warmed. Yes. Um, I assume I can use the hot water to warm it. Is there another option for me to keep uh, cups warm? There is, and, and that's a great feature of our top of the line one, Kelly. Um, right up on the top here where I have the saucer, this is an active cup warmer. So it's actually gonna be actively heating uh, your cups. And that's really, um, secret to, to making the right perfect coffee is, is making sure that the cup is warmed uh, to receive the, the coffee. So I also notice on that one over there, we obviously have the milk flask. Um, we're not showing anywhere else. So maybe you could talk a little bit about kind of the advantages of the milk flask and, and obviously making the drinks and For sure. options there. So uh, all of these uh, machines are capable of making milk-based beverages, whether it be a latte or a, a cappuccino. Um, now, what you'll uh, be able to do is, on these machines, it comes with this uh, milk pipe. It's uh, basically a, a hose, and what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to connect it to the machine, and it will then go into uh, your milk container. So whether it's a carton of milk, uh, whether it's um, uh, your own flask, uh, you'll be able to then draw the milk into the machine uh, through this hose. With the top of the line CM6350, it actually comes in the box with a Miele uh, uh, insulated um, milk flask. So the benefit to this is if uh, you are entertaining in your home and you want to have uh, the milk out in the flask uh, just for easy uh, convenience and perhaps for guests to be able to uh, help themselves, um, it is insulated so your milk will stay uh, cool. Now speaking about the milk, um, what we recommend is that you only use uh, dairy milk, um, cow's milk. Uh, we recommend 1% um, for uh, best results. And um, it, it's really just because of the mechanical uh, functioning of the machine, it's, it's designed uh, for cow's milk. And, and I think that's a, you know, we, ha we have a viewer out there, uh, Leo, who asked the question exactly. One part of the question was about the milk uh, aspect. So, uh, Leo, hopefully we answered that question. Um, and then I, you have another question about beans, which uh, we'll, we'll get to in a minute to answer that question. Great. See, can we talk a little bit about uh, a lot of our customers and a lot of people that have coffee machines out there? Um, it's about maintenance. Right. Um, you know, I also know that a lot of a lot of aspects of our machine in different parts is dishwasher safe, and mm -hmm. some are not mm -hmm. dishwasher safe. Maybe you want to talk a bit about. That. Sure. So in addition to putting a lot of thought into how our machines can make the perfect cup of coffee, we've also put a lot of thought into making this very easy and the maintenance of the machine as well. So if I were to pull out here, this is our drip tray and it comes with a couple of different pieces. If I take off the front of the machine, 
essentially the drip tray uh, is comprised of three different pieces. So you have your, uh, your coffee uh, capsule uh, uh, bin. So this is where after each uh, serving, it's going to drop the used uh, puck of coffee grounds into here. This is dishwasher safe. So you can throw this in the dishwasher. Uh, in addition, this is the drip tray. So uh, this is where when the, when the machine rinses or perhaps if any water were to drop um, uh, down and not into the cup, uh, it's gonna be collected into this drip tray. This drip tray is also dishwasher friendly. You'll notice there's actually, in case you forget, there's a little dishwasher friendly sign on here. And it just has a little bit of a lid here, so both pieces just easily into the dishwasher. And, and I think just looking at that, now that you have the drip tray out, Dean, you know, um, if we can show the viewers at home too, is you know the, the design around covering the dip, drip tray and there's a little area where it's really easy to dump off in the sink. People don't worry about spilling and carrying water from the coffee machine to the sink. That, that's a great little design detail, I think. Absolutely, and, and I think it just really shows all the small details that Mila has thought about when they designed this. So this is what Kelly was referring to in the corner here. It's, it's basically a cutoff triangle. And so you would just carry this over to your sink and you just dump it out from the corner there. So very, very easy. Um, and with this lid, you don't have to worry about uh, spilling any liquid as you move it over to your sink. Um, so since we're on the topic of cleaning, Dean, we actually have a question from uh, a viewer out there, Diana. Diana asked the question, how often does the machine need to be cleaned? Mm -hmm. So first off, I think I'll just back up for one second and talk a little bit about the cleaning. So the maintenance on these machines is very, very easy. So the, ma the maintenance is actually very automated. Um, there's three different uh, consumables that you will require in order to maintain your machine properly. So the three things that you're going to need to have, and you, you receive um, a starter amount of each of these three when you purchase the machine in the box, uh, but then going forward on mila.ca, uh, we sell all of these products that I'm gonna go over. So the first one is descaling tablets. So the machine is going to prompt you, it's going to know when the machine needs to be descaled, and in terms of how often that is, that's really gonna depend on the hardness of the water in the community that you live in. So uh, it's, it's hard to answer that exactly, but the good thing is um, the machine, in those um, settings, you're able to determine and specify the water hardness in your city. Uh, so based on that, and the machine will then let you know, these are the descaling tablets you'll need to use. And usage, I assume, is how often, you know, if the yes. family's making 10 cups a day versus somebody that's making one cup a day, they'll... For sure, well. yeah, that will definitely impact how often. Uh, but very easy, and not only does it prompt you when it needs to be done, but it actually walks you through step-by-step step what to do uh, in order to descale the machine. Also, uh, there's going to be some cleaning tabs. This is to basically degrease the brew unit uh, that we were showing on the side here. Uh, again, it's gonna prompt you when this needs to be done. Uh, it's every 200 cups of coffee is when you're gonna to want to uh, use one of these uh, cleaning tabs. And if you uh, make milk-based beverages, um, then you're going to need to clean this milk pipe work. And it's really partly just a hygienic food safety uh, reason, as well as because it is a fairly thin tube, uh, it's important to make sure that it's uh, nice and clear in order to uh, be able to draw up the milk uh, effectively. So there's a milk cleaning, milk uh, pipe work cleaner uh, that will come in the box and that you're able to purchase separately. And uh, those are the three consumables that you need to properly maintain your machine. And I would really, um, I want to stress the importance of properly maintaining the machine uh, since it is uh, uh, producing something that you're going to be drinking. Yeah, but I think like any other machine in the house, there's maintenance, whether it's even your car that needs to tune up your coffee machine needs to be maintained to get the best performance. Exactly, yeah. Out of it. And, uh, and I really do find uh, that when you start to use it and that first time when it prompts you to maintain it uh, and do something with the descaling tablets or the milk pipe work cleaner, I think you're, once you go through the steps, you're gonna actually find it uh, to be very simple um, and very straightforward. Um, so also, as Dean mentioned, these products are available on Mila.ca. Right now we actually have uh, again, as many of you are at home, we want to make it as easy as for you as possible. So we have uh, free shipping uh, on any order on meal.ca right now, and we have a 10% off uh, in regards to the care collection product itself. Yes. Uh, so those are some of the uh, promotions we've got going, Kelly. Um, also, specifically for our viewers today who are watching this episode, 
live for the next hour, uh, we're actually going to offer you a very special discount. Um, so we have some uh, promo codes here. Um, so the first one promo code is Mila Live Coffee, and this is going to allow you to get a 15% uh, discount on the purchase of coffee beans from Mila, uh, which we're going to talk about next. And also, there's a promo code Mila Live Coffee. Uh, which is going to provide you with an extra $100 discount off of the purchase of any of our coffee machines. And, that we and there's about. already existing promotions on those machines, so this $100 is exclusively for you out there right now that are joining us on this live stream. So up until 2.30, that promo code will be valid. So a great time to buy, and again, we have free shipping on everything right now. That's right. So why don't we head over and talk a little bit, Dean, about the coffee beans, since you mentioned that, because that's... Uh, something new for Formula. Sure. Um, and maybe you could talk a little bit about that. Okay. So over the past year, Mila has launched in Canada uh, our own line of coffee beans. And uh, these beans are organic. They're fair trade uh, coffee beans. And we've partnered with a very long-standing, reputable private roaster in Germany uh, to roast uh, our beans. And we offer them in four uh, different varieties. Um, so I just wanted to kind of go over uh, what we have available. So we have here um, one called One For All. Um, this is going to be a, a full-bodied flavored uh, coffee bean, um, and it's really going to be uh, one that will appeal to a lot of people. For those that perhaps like a bit of a lighter uh, taste profile, we have Cafe Crema. Uh, so this is an another option. These bags, they're 250 gram bags. We also offer a bean that is specifically intended for espresso drinkers. So this is the espresso. And finally, for those uh, that prefer to drink decaf, we also have a decaf whole bean uh, available as well. So uh, four different options. Um, it's, they've been selected, they've been roasted, uh, and brought to market specifically to work best with our machines. So, by all means, you're able to uh, use any bean um, that you would like, but these are the ones that we recommend. Um, the only thing I would mention, if you're going to be using your own bean, it is important that you don't use a bean that is coated or flavored, uh, so not like a hazelnut bean. Uh, the reason is that um, flavored beans have a sugary coating on them, right. um, which is not good uh, for the grinder. So one other thing uh, about beans, and, and there are many good beans out in the marketplace. Um, you know, we can talk in a minute about why Mila took this approach. If I can grab one sure. bag from you, Dean. We're also practicing social distancing, so it's not, uh, I'm not helping Dean out here. But um, one thing you'll notice with the Mila beans is the information that we actually provide you in regards to the beans. So unlike other things that you may buy in the supermarket, where you have a list of ingredients and all this information that may not be a good thing because of all the things in there. When you're looking at coffee, so whether it's Mila coffee or next time you are, have a chance to, to look at a bag of coffee, the more information that's provided to you, the better the bean actually is. Um, so that's just a little tip as you actually go look for different coffee bean types out there. Again, the more information that the manufacturer provides you in regards to coffee beans, um, the better it actually is. So Dean, maybe just quickly a little bit is, why did we, Mila, take this approach to actually produce our own coffee beans? Mm -hmm. So for many years, we have been in the business of, of making coffee machines. Uh, today, we're, we're discussing our countertop coffee machines. Uh, hopefully, you'll join us on Friday. Uh, we've got a session to talk about our built-in machines. Yep. Um, but it was an extension of, it's our, um, constant pursuit in terms of being able to provide uh, the user, yourselves at home, the ultimate experience with our products and making sure that whatever you are working with, uh, whatever product it is, that the outcome is absolutely perfect. And in terms of prep preparing coffee, there's certain things that are really essential to producing the best quality, most perfect coffee. One of them being, of course, the bean. So our beans have been very carefully sourced. Also, the roasting method. And that's why we've partnered with such a reputable German private roaster. But of course, the machine itself also has a lot to, um, a, a lot of influence over the preparation of the, of the coffee. So that's why we've now been able to offer a complete solution uh, in terms of the bean and the machine. Perfect. 
so we have a question from uh, another viewer, Nelson. Uh, so obviously the topic of beans is, is a very popular topic and you know in the marketplace right now there are options of uh, which is also very popular is pods mm -hmm. um, so you know not necessarily that one's better than the other but uh, Dean what would you say as far as differences between uh, a bean based machine and a pod based machine sure so uh, certainly the the uh, machines that are in the market that uh, take a, a pod have become quite popular and I think the reason why they've become popular is around uh, how convenient they are um, in, in terms of being able to make coffee. Now, the wonderful thing about our machines is I think it's sort of the best of both worlds. This is a super automatic machine uh, with very minimal work uh, needed on, on your part to make coffee. Um, it, in fact, it is as simple as pressing a button in order to produce the coffee. So we've made um, a machine that takes a whole bean, grinds it, and prepares the coffee, very, very simple. So now you're going to be able to still have the same level of convenience uh, using whole beans. And of course, there's gonna be great advantages to being able to use a fresh coffee bean uh, versus a, a, a pod or a capsule. Okay. Um, so maybe, if, can we maybe try to start that one again? Because sure. I, I need a pick me up right now. <laughs> it's, uh, but you know, I think Dean talked about a lot of great features in the machine that go beyond just the coffee. We have the hot water for, for tea in the family. Um, you know, I know uh, my girls love to use the steam and, and froth milk to make hot chocolate. Uh, you just put hot chocolate there, and I think that's great. Um, in upcoming sessions uh, next week, so be sure again to look out for the schedule, um, we may even introduce some cooking recipes using the coffee beans themselves um, and what we can actually do there. So I know there are different options. Um, I'd love a drink, Dean, if, sure. if we could. Okay. Um, I know that you're a latte macchiato uh, fan, so perhaps we'll make one of those for you. That'd be great. Uh, so just to show you how easy this is, uh, it's really a one-touch thing. So I just select my drink, and up here you've got four different icons for the most popular drinks that people like to make. Um, so we've got one here for an espresso, we've got a coffee one, an icon for cappuccino, and for Kelly, I'm going to uh, select this icon here, which is for the latte macchiato. Press that. So what we can hear right now is the bean is being ground, and it's being compressed into a puck, and the machine is preheating right now the water. And now the machine is about to start to draw up the milk. And now we're dispensing the milk. You can see it's nice and hot, lots of steam coming off. Yep. It's now frothing. And the machine's walking us through all the different steps as it's preparing yeah, the drink. Great. If at any time, if you need to stop, uh, you're able to press OK and that would stop the drink. So Dean, as it's finishing up its drink and as we only have a couple minutes left, um, maybe you can talk about the different color options uh, in some cases that the customer would actually have. Because I know here we're showing our graphite gray, right. uh, which is right now a, a very popular customer. Our, our customers love this color. But what else do they have an option for? Uh, color wise sure so our CM 5300 uh, as you see it here it comes in graphite gray when you move up to the CM 6150 you actually have a choice of two different colors so what we're looking at right now this is the graphite gray uh, it's also av available in black as well so uh, you have a choice there and you also have the same choice with the CM 6350 so this one you're looking at right now is also the gray it comes in the black as well Okay. Uh, just to uh, remind everyone about um, the promotion, so we've got $300 off the CM6150 gray, as you see it here, uh, plus you're going to get eight bags of uh, coffee for free, uh, plus if you order in the next hour, it's an extra $100 off. The CM6350 uh, in black is available at $400 off. Uh, plus an extra hundred dollars if you purchase in the next hour and you're also going to get the eight free coffee beans wow. or bags of coffee beans that, that, that drink looks great so there it is and uh, it's I'll, I'll, a beautiful drink I'll grab that in a minute <laughs> uh, so we're gonna try to wrap up we have one last question um, before we wrap up today from Frank Miller 
Uh, so Frank, uh, your question is, if I need service uh, for this machine, and, I, and we assume you're asking about the freestanding coffee, not our built-in coffee, um, where would they go, Dean? Um, so for the, the best way is to contact Mila directly. Um, so our, our contact center uh, is open. Uh, we're here for you. Um, so if you go to mila.ca and click on contact us, uh, you'll be able to find our phone number and, and please give us a call and we'll be happy to help you with any service that, uh, that you'll need on your machine. So, so I think as Dean said, I think that's important to note again. Uh, we're very happy that you are safe at home with your family um, in these times, but we want to be here to serve you. So uh, in addition to Mila Live that we've just introduced, uh, we also have introduced a service where you can actually book a personal product consultation by telephone with one of our product specialists. You can find that link on mila.ca. Um, we're available in French and English for that personal telephone conversation, uh, consultation. Um, and any specific questions you have, we're more than happy to answer there. You can buy online with us at mila.ca as well. Uh, you can also place the order, uh, if, if you don't have access online, you can also place the order via telephone after one of our uh, product consultations with our product specialist. Um, we have Mila Live that's gonna continue uh, throughout this week into next week and after that with different sessions to make sure that you tune in and uh, see what different sessions and we'll hopefully try to answer again as many questions as you have for us. Um, but again, maybe Dean, just to wrap up one more time, the promos that we have available in the next, uh, till 2.30 right now? Sure. So. It's an extra $100 off any of our coffee countertop machines, uh, above and beyond the promotions that you see on Milo.ca today. Um, in addition, we've got uh, two promo codes. So we have Mila Live Coffee. Uh, this is going to give you that extra $100. And we've got Mila Live Beans as another promo code. This is 15% off of our coffee beans. And that's uh, free shipping on all of that. Um, in addition to that, as, as an added bonus, if you go on Mila.ca as well, uh, we've introduced a Mila e-gift card that you can purchase at any time to share with your friends and family. Uh, it's an easy gift to be able to share with them and uh, you can send that virtually to them as well. So uh, be, on behalf of Dean uh, and the team here at Mila that's still servicing you across the country in Canada, uh, we wish you be safe. Uh, in Toronto, it's a beautiful day here. So enjoy your day and uh, hopefully you'll sign on to uh, see us again at our next uh, live stream session. Thank you. Thanks everyone.